2003 World Cup game against Australia, where Dad um, took, like, you know, it was close to a record and it was three wickets for, like, me, I don't even remember the statistics, but I remember very clearly being in the, in the house in Westlands and all watching it, me, Mum and Irfan were watching it on TV, you know, back then we were recording it on the tape, you know, the VCR tapes. And he got, he got someone out and then eventually got Ricky Ponting out and we were like jumping all over the place like, oh my gosh. And then he got another weekend and we were like, okay, maybe Kenya can't win this game because it was still impossible, but his stats were amazing and the team were so happy. It was, and we were already in the semi-finals. So it was really, that was a, a really amazing night. Um, and then of course it went on to the presentation ceremony and he got the man of the match. So that was like, okay, wow, that's really cool. And the next day people were like, oh, was that your dad? And I was like, okay, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. And then obviously going, that the only time we actually got to watch him abroad in, in international cricket, because it was always during school time. But for the South Africa World Cup, when they made it to the finals against India, semi-finals, sorry, against India, we went to South Africa to watch it. And that's again when we were like, you know, in the kind of the players, you know, families bought like seating area and you can look down and see it. And I was like, oh gosh, wow, like this is real. Yeah.